I landed in Canada on November 6th of 2015. Back home in Bangladesh, I uh, graduated as a medical doctor, but I've never practiced medicine there. My interest was in research. Most of my career actually relates to uh, teaching in university postgraduate, as well as doing research in public health. My field of practice currently in Canada is health research. My liberty to decide on myself here is much more than what I had in Bangladesh. Uh, they say that Canada is an egalitarian society and those countries are more of a hierarchical society. Maybe it's the reflection of that overall culture. My job search experiences in Canada it was very challenging. I did try to find jobs that suit my experiences and skills. However, no response was uh, oftentimes very frustrating because time was running out. One thing that is very common in Canada is volunteering. That's the first thing I uh, thought I should be doing until the time I get a real good job, is volunteer in an institution that's uh, popular, that also has responsibilities that uh, are aligned with my skill sets. And uh, fortunately, I was able to start a volunteering position as a research assistant in the University of Toronto in the Dalalan School of Public Health. During my uh, volunteering in the University of Toronto, I got to hear about this bridging program called Internationally Trained Medical Doctors Bridging Program and it seemed very interesting and I applied and eventually the uh, director called me and uh, looking at my CV, he discussed with me whether I am really interested to join this program. During the program, um, he attended uh, four courses. I have a report from each instructor uh, that his performance is extremely high and he is a very uh, engaged uh, person in the class. He also helped his PR in the class so that uh, our other program um, participant also get lot of support from him. Not only he took the advantage from the course, but he also gave a lot of input to the class and I believe he is a wonderful public health professional. The bridging program is a wonderful program in the sense that it gives the internationally trained medical doctors the skill set they need to get into the uh, job market, especially the research job market. But the most that I got out of this course was the fact that it teaches you or um, trains you uh, in Canadian context, in the Canadian workforce, in the Canadian job market. So there are many soft skills that the Canadian employers are looking for. And one, would, one coming from a different country would not necessarily know about those. Uh, but ITMD has very planned and focused way of training its participants on those soft skills. He is very enthusiastic and uh, he wants to show to know what great skills he has. As an employer, these are the great you know, skills that a person can bring to the table is just to go above and beyond, be respectful of others and be a team worker and also try to set a future for himself. I attribute my success eventually to the patience and the positiveness that I had and being very proactive. So you have to go out there. Uh, I'm talking for myself. I actually, once I found no one re responding to my job applications, um, I, I reached out to anyone I know who knows Canadians, for example, uh, and see if there are opportunities for volunteering uh, and uh, exercising my skills. So you, it, it needs to have a very positive vibe in you. It needs to have as if the hope is just there. Uh, it's, uh, you have to just keep on move, moving towards that step, right? So um, I, I think that is one big quality that someone needs to be successful in Canada, is being positive, being hopeful, and uh, knowing that it's gonna happen, and it, it's really a function of time.